Digging in the Records, an introduction to Kingston History Centre by Carolyn Cotton, local history officer. This talk gives a brief introduction to the materials held at Kingston History Centre and what they can be used for. The History Centre, along with Kingston Museum, forms the Kingston Heritage Service and the staff at the centre consists of the borough archivist, the local history officer, the heritage officer and two Saturday heritage assistants. We're all part time, so as you can see, we have to work hard to care for the collections and help members of the public with their inquiries. How to find us. Our address is Kingston History Centre, Guildhall, High Street, Kingston upon Thames, KT1 1 EU. Phone 0208 547 6738 or email local.history at kingston.gov.uk. We're in the basement of the Guild Hall in one of the former magistrates courts. Go to the rear of the Guild Hall and look for a big blue flag. Check our website to make sure we'll be open if you're planning a special trip. We're currently closed but hope to reopen soon by appointment only. When you come into the foyer, you will find our current temporary display. These change about every three months and can be on topics highlighting different parts of our collections or from one of our partners. Follow the arrow along the corridor to the search room. Before you come into the search room, we'll ask you to leave your coat and bags in a locker. You can bring in your notebooks and pencils, money and phone, but no food or drink or pens. The section room was a magistrate's court until 2011. It was converted to become the History Centre and opened into October 2015. The other courtrooms are used by the Registration Service for weddings. Two of the cells were kept. We now use them for storage and the magistrate's offices are used as offices or meeting rooms. So what can you find here? We have books, journals, directories, archaeological reports, maps, photographs, newspapers, oral history, archives, online resources and some access to museum objects. How to find what we have? Ask the staff. We're here to help. Our catalogues, most of our archive holdings are listed on Discovery. This is a national database maintained by the National Archives. Books, maps, photos, etc. are on various lists only accessible by staff. Check our new website www.kingstonheritage.org.uk where we are showcasing some of our collections. We are developing our online catalogue but there's still much work to do before it's ready for public view. Books. We have over 5,000 books and pamphlets, all of which are relevant to the Kingston area or of general help with research. Most of our books are on the open shelves, but some are kept in reserve. If you can't find what you're looking for, please ask the staff and they'll help you to find it. Books are arranged by General Research Aids, Surrey and the South East, Kingston and individual places in the borough. We have copies of all the standard works on the history of the area from John Aubrey's 1718 Natural History and Antiquities of the County of Surrey to Sean Butter's That Famous Place, The History of Kingston-upon-Thames of 2013. We get new books when published and all our books are for reference only. Journals and magazines. We try to collect all the local journals and magazines that are or have been published. For some, we have very long runs, such as the Surrey Archaeological Collections from Volume 1, 1858. We also have the London Archaeologist from its first issue. The Good Life, Time and Leisure, Chessington Chat and Malden Voice and several parish magazines are all collected. Some of the magazines have only a few issues, others are more substantial. We rely heavily on our volunteers and members of the public to keep the current magazines up to date. A future project for our volunteers will be to index some of these journals so that we can find fascinating information they contain. Directories. Our local street directories run from 1864 to 1971 with some gaps. 
They show the occupiers of properties and the local tradespeople. The early directories are limited in the information they show, but by the 1880s they are very detailed and can be used to trace the history of a house or business. Thanks to the generosity of the Friends of Kingsley Museum, these are being digitised. Many of them are falling apart as they were never intended to last for more than a year, never mind over a century. Our collection of telephone directories, yellow pages and Thompson's directories are very useful for the later 20th century, but many have now ceased publication as internet and mobile phones make them less useful. What will future researchers use, I wonder? Archaeological reports. We have a large collection of reports on archaeological excavations in the borough. They cover everything from tiny desk-based assessments to large reports on major sites. Reflecting the large amount of redevelopment, there are plenty from the 1980s and 1990s, but fewer recent ones. Maps are an important part of our collection. We have over 1,500 different maps, ranging in date from the 16th century to the present. Not all of these are original, many are copies of archive maps held at the Surrey History Centre. This map of Surrey is by Robert Morden from 1695. As you can see, it's very pretty, but it doesn't show a lot of detail. The first really detailed map of this area is by John Roke in 1762. It shows field boundaries and roads, as well as houses. From what we can tell, it is fairly accurate. This beautiful map of Kingston was made in 1813 by Thomas Horner. It shows in great detail the town centre, as well as the whole of the parish of Kingston, which at that time included as far as Chessington. There is a picture of the marketplace and a view of the town from Kingston Hill. Tithes were originally paid to the rector of the parish, in theory one-tenth of the value of the produce of the land. By the end of the 18th century, this system was breaking down and many parishes who were enclosing their land took the opportunity to extinguish the tithe valuations. For those parishes who were left, the Tithe Commutation Act of 1836 revised the system. As part of the process, detailed maps were drawn up, showing property boundaries, owners and occupiers. The Kingston Tithe map is from 1840. This is part of the town centre. The numbers shown refer to a book which lists all the details of each property. The original map is at the Surrey History Centre. At the end of the 18th century, the Napoleonic Wars highlighted the need for accurate and detailed maps of the country. The Ordnance Survey started surveying the country from Hounslow Heath in 1798, and the first edition was published in 1811 at a scale of one inch to the mile. In the 1850s, a massive project to resurvey the country began, and the first large-scale maps were published in the 1860s. This sheet for Kingston Town Centre was published in 1867 at 25 inches to the mile. They were revised every 20 to 30 years until 1970. Today, with computerised mapping, sheets are only revised if there is a substantial change. By looking at a sequence of these maps, we can see how the area changes. In this map of 1935, of the same area, you can see how much of the land around the town centre has been built on. Special maps are created for lots of different reasons. Development, engineering, water supply, etc. Often a base map, such as the Ordnance Survey, is overlaid with extra information. This six inch to the mile map from 1938 has been marked up to show where bombs fell in World War II. Goad maps are plans of shopping centres showing all the different retail premises. These come out at different intervals depending on how often the shops might change. Kingston plans are issued twice a year, but those for Chessington only every two years. Photographs. We have a large collection of over 2,000 images covering the whole borough. The earliest are from the 1850s and they come right up to date with a Capture Kingston competition. To save damaging the original photographs, members of the public can browse albums in the search room. 
At the moment, our photograph catalogues are not available for the public to search, but staff will guide you to find the right image. This is one of our earliest images of the coronation stone shortly after it was set up in the marketplace in 1850. And this image shows the celebrations when Kingston Bridge was freed from tolls on the 12th of March 1870. From the 1920s onwards, aerial photographs became very popular. This shows the Guildhall under construction in 1935. Newspapers are an important source for research, and we have several newspapers in our collection. The most important is the Surrey Comet, which began in 1854 and is still published today. We have a complete set of bound volumes from the first issue. As these are quite fragile, we ask people to use the microfilm copies. The other paper which is most consulted is the Kingston Borough News from 1963 to 1980, which we only have as bound volumes. Unfortunately, none of the papers are fully indexed. Oral history is a technique for collecting and studying the past using recordings of interviews with people. They're a really interesting source for history because they illustrate how different people view the same event, what people feel is important about the past, and often give detailed recollections, which you may not find in a normal history book. They also provide an opportunity to share unique and personal events. The oral history collections at Kingston History Centre originate in a large project from the 1980s to collect ordinary people's memories of work life in the borough. The collection now comprises of over a hundred interviews. The transcripts are available to read in the search room, with audio still mostly kept on cassette tape and available for specific research purposes. There is an associated photographic collection and later projects have included collecting objects too. There is an index to the collection to help research the specific locales or topics. Themes include World War I, World War II, childhood, clothing and fashion, cooking, the foundation of NHS hospitals, education, housing, and so on. It's a very rich collection, which is not widely used by the public, so you're welcome to come and listen. The History Centre is the local record office for the Borough of Kingston. Most of the official records for the Borough are here, although some are also at the Surrey History Centre, some at London Metropolitan Archives, and some at the National Archives. Archives are collections of documentary evidence which are carefully preserved to record history. These documents are primary sources of information as they provide first-hand evidence of the past, compared to history books, which are secondary sources. Archives can include organisational documents, diaries, official registers, photographs, prints, letters, scrapbooks, audio and visual recordings, building plans and digital material. They can be manuscript or printed, or in other forms too. We have a duty to archive records created by the Borough of Kingston Council, but we also collect the records of local businesses, schools, interest groups, important events and individuals. The collection covers the Borough of Kingston Pond Thames, including Surbiton, New Malden, Chessington and Tolworth, and we are looking to collect material from all the different communities in the borough. Although part of our collection can be searched online in the National Archives Discovery Database, many more collections are listed in the Heritage Service catalogues. This is currently only searchable by the Heritage team, who can help you with your research. Highlights are local government administrative records dating from 1680, court and coroner records dating from the 15th to the 18th century, deeds and building plans of residential and commercial properties from the 19th century, the personal scrapbook of photographer Edward Mybridge, personal papers of the artist Denise Wren, and records of Hillcroft College, the first adult residential college for women. Kingston was granted a number of royal charters. The earliest was in 1200, but the townspeople lost it and had to ask King John for a replacement. And this was granted in 1208. Archives can be used for research in many ways. These, for example, show the history of the new bridge over the Thames. 
the 1813 map shows the old bridge and with drawing of the old and new bridges. Then the Act of Parliament for building the new bridge in 1825 and the architect's plans. A heavily used archive collection are the building plans from the 1880s onwards, such as this one from Westbury Road, New Malden. Sales records of local properties can help with tracing the history of a house, along with the plans, street directories, electoral registers and maps. Records of local businesses can give a picture of the commercial life in the past. Some examples from the Turks Boatyard, Lentil Store and the Andre Rubber Company. School records include log books where all the events in the life of the school were recorded as well as other more ephemeral items. The logbook from Surbiton School in 1866 and a programme for the Tiffin School play from 1938. Sport and leisure are an important part of the lives of people in Kingston. We have records of local sports clubs and societies, local theatres and cinemas. War affects the lives of everyone. We have records for both world wars. At the end of the First War, the Surrey Comet and Kingston Corporation compiled a roll of honour of all those from the area who had died in the war. This is one of our very precious items. Here you can see the form sent in by the family and a photograph of Arthur Alton, who died at the Somme on the 1st of July 1916. Records for the Second World War include files for the ARP wardens and records of bomb damage. In addition to our own collections, we have access to several online resources free to use in the search room. Ancestry, Find My Past and the British Newspaper Archive. Access to some of the items from the museum collections can be made by arrangement with the curators. If you've been inspired to come and do some research with us, you can contact us by email local.history at kingston.gov.uk. Although we're currently closed due to the COVID-19 pandemic, we hope to reopen shortly. Email us to check the current situation as you'll need to make an appointment to visit for the foreseeable future.